Have you ever considered the beauty of a beehive, the efficiency of an ant colony, or the resilience of a spider web? Nature is an unparalleled architect using designs and systems perfected over billions of years. Yet, in our urban landscapes, do we see these marvels reflected in our own creations? Or are we perhaps missing an opportunity to learn from the master architect herself? Imagine a city, not of concrete and steel, but one that breathes, grows, and thrives like a living organism. A city that mimics the principles of nature, a concept known as biomimicry. This is not a fantasy, but a potential reality, a vision of the future that could redefine our understanding of architecture and urban planning. Picture, if you will, a metropolis designed like a forest where buildings are not merely structures, but living entities that harness sunlight, absorb carbon dioxide, and emit oxygen. Skyscrapers that resemble towering trees, their exteriors a vibrant tapestry of native flora, providing habitats for birds and insects, and contributing to local biodiversity. Envision roads that mimic the efficiency of ant trails, maximizing connectivity and reducing congestion. Imagine bridges inspired by the strength and flexibility of spider webs, capable of withstanding natural disasters. Think of homes that adapt to their environment like chameleons, changing their insulation properties in response to weather conditions, conserving energy, and reducing our carbon footprint. The heart of this city would be its infrastructure, a network of systems modeled after the human body. Just as our arteries, veins, and capillaries distribute nutrients and oxygen to every cell, this city's infrastructure would ensure the efficient delivery of resources, water, energy, goods, to every inhabitant, every structure, every corner of the city. This future city would not only exist in harmony with nature, but actively contribute to its health. It would recycle waste like a forest floor, turning refuse into resources. It would use water as efficiently as a cactus and generate energy as cleanly as a leaf through photosynthesis. Yet, this vision is not a foregone conclusion. It requires the creativity, the ingenuity, and the courage to challenge traditional notions of architecture and design. It calls for architects, designers, and urban planners to look beyond the blueprints and computer models and step into the world's greatest design studio, nature. Therefore, dare to dream of this city, dare to challenge the status quo, dare to look at a spider web, a beehive, a forest and see not just beauty, but inspiration for a new way of designing and living. Dare to bring this vision to life. The future of architecture lies not in towering monuments of steel and glass, but in the humble designs of nature that surround us. It's time to stop merely inhabiting nature and start living in harmony with it. It's time to make the vision of a biomimetic city a reality. This is the vision. Let it be more than a dream. Let it be a call to action. A call to design with nature, for nature, and for our future. Are you ready to answer that call?